Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Wilcox here. Happy Tuesday. I hope that you had a great Monday and that you were excited for this week. I know I have a lot of fun things for us to do, so I'm going to switch my screen and show you what we're going to be doing. All right, here we are on our Tuesday page. I got to this page by clicking on the Tuesday link from our home page on the step number one. And today is Tuesday, May 5th. 2020 or we write that as 05-05-20. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is watch my video here and then you're going to choose three of these activities below to do or of course you can choose more but make sure that you're shooting to work for an hour to an hour and a half each day on school my friends. All right, the first thing, the first activity for you to choose from is how you're going to check in with me. Today at 11 a.m. on Zoom we're going to be playing a class game. I have a new, uh, a fun new game for you to try so I'm excited to, to do that at 11 a.m. Otherwise, you can email me, you can post on the chat board, you can text me. There's lots of ways for you to check in, friends. Remember, our goal is for you to check in with me at least one time per week, which is a level three, a thumbs up. If you do more than that, then that's a level four, a double thumbs up. Great job. All right. There's another extra activity for you to do today on Tuesday, and if you would like to read with Miss Heather at 2 p.m., then you can come and click on this link right here, and she will be there um, to read with you on Zoom. So I have assigned you a book here, and um, this Tough Guys was the book from last week. I'll, I'll put the new book title on there, and I will assign it to you on Epic today so that you can go in and check that out, and then you can go and reread it with Miss Heather if you'd like to at 2 p.m. All right, the next reading activity we have here for you is similar to what we We've done the other days and read a, a book on your own and or a chapter on your own and then write a paragraph with three to six or more sentences about the challenges that your character faced in the story so my friends as good readers we want to really understand the characters and the things that are happening in our story and so thinking about the challenges and the tough things that our characters are having to go through in the story will help us to better understand that story and to learn more from it okay so write me a paragraph or a story about what those characters faced what challenges they faced in that story all right, the next activity option that you have here is um, Rhoda's Rock Hunt. And so this is a story that I picked out to help us learn a little bit more about rocks and how they're formed over time and the processes that go into, into making those rocks. And so after listening to this story, then I would like for you to write about a time when you went on an adventure with your family. So this book not only has some facts for us, but it also talks about this adventure uh, that Rhoda goes on and it's pretty exciting. So I hope that you like that story if you choose that activity. All right, another activity choice that you have here is our math. And so today we're learning about inches and feet. And yesterday I talked to you about an inch. And remember, we can use our thumb to estimate an inch. So from the tip of our thumb to this joint here, that is about an inch, okay? So if I wanted to measure something, then I would say, okay, well, this is an inch, and this is an inch. If I took my pen, I, my pencil, I could say, wow, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. My pencil is about five inches, okay? So parts of our body can be really great tools for us to use, okay? Yesterday I also told you that your foot, um, probably with your shoe on, since your feet are a little bit smaller than adults foot, but your foot with the shoe on would be a great way for you to estimate the length of a foot, which is 12 inches, okay? So check out that video and learn about inches and feet, and then I would like for you to use a ruler or a measuring tape that you found around your house, and I would like for you to find an object that is three inches and an object that is 12 inches, okay? So we're just putting those skills into practice. We're practicing using our tools to measure those things. And my friends, if you don't have a ruling, um, a ruler or a measuring tape around your house, then you are welcome to use your thumb from the tip to that joint or your foot with the shoe on to measure those things, okay? All right, moving down our healthy habit activity today is the science behind sleep. And so sleep is really important for our bodies to have. That's why it's one of those four main things that we can do to keep our bodies healthy. And so check out this video. And then I would like for, uh, for you to think about how do you make sure that you get enough sleep each night? So there's lots of different ways that people do it. Some people, um, some kiddos let their, their parents or their grandparents kind of track that and tell them when to go to bed and when they can get up. Some, um, some kiddos might use an app to track track that. Some people might have a timer or other special ways that they do that. So I want you to think about special ways um, about how you make sure that you get enough sleep because that's really important for our bodies, um, especially during this time when we really need to stay healthy, friends. All right. And this week, um, or sorry, today for Tuesday, I try, I've been trying to switch off and not give you art every day. And so I chose some social studies for today. So since we're learning about rocks and how they form over time with the help of volcanoes and, and lots of other things like that, I 
thought it would be cool for us to check out the natural resources um, that Earth has to offer. And so these natural resources go right along with what we are talking about and how um, our Earth changes over time. All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoy those activities. Then you can click here and go back to home, find that number two, and then find one or two of those activities for you to do. Remember, if you're a Lexi or a success maker friend, try to jump on those programs for a little bit each day and um, continue to build our awesome skills. All right, friends. I hope that you have a great Tuesday. Enjoy your day. I will see you on Zoom at 11 a.m. if you can make it. Otherwise, post on the chat board or find another way to contact me this week and enjoy time with your family. Bye, friends.